th this is actually uh, a, a, a pretty early level in the campaign. It's the second the second kind of mission you're you're on here. Um, it takes place in in uh, what's called the resource operations facility in the UAC. Um, you've uh, you you basically at the very beginning of the game you've woken up. Um, and fought your way out of a, a kind of a secret bunker that uh, that you're in. You don't know why. You don't, don't have a, a really good idea of what's happened. Oh. Um, and you really just <laughs> you start tearing things apart. So, um, uh, if I don't mind, if you don't mind answering this, I noticed the characters. You know, the, the different demons and all that stuff and monsters. Uh, they flash with like orange and blue. Um, I know that that has been talked about before, uh, but I guess for some new viewers who may not have seen. A doom before what does that actually indicate yeah that's our that's uh, kind of our glory kill system um, when uh, when you've done a certain amount of damage to uh, to an enemy uh, your your visor and your HUD highlights them in in that way uh, when they when they turn kind of that uh, that that bluish uh, that that means they they're stunned and they're kind of in a state of, of we call it a stagger state um, and uh, and they're 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 particularly vulnerable and you can you can shoot them you can run up to them and and uh, and then glory kill them. Um, so uh, and and when you get close enough, they turn orange. Uh, that uh, that's all. Um, you know that that stuff can be turned off through the settings if somebody doesn't doesn't like that. Wants a little bit more of a challenge for themselves. Okay. Um, uh, here, Speaking of challenge. Yeah. As a matter of fact, ultra violent mode. Oh uh, yes, of okay. course. Oh, oh, yeah, Hugo's playing on uh, on hurt me plenty. Um, we didn't we didn't want him dying too much. Uh, but uh, but you know the challenge of playing the game is actually a really big thing. Here he's, here he's bringing up uh, our automat that station he touched. Uh, you find those in throughout the game. Um, without that, you basically kind of go through and, and you're revealing parts of the level as you go through. Um, but secrets, finding secrets is a big deal. So here he revealed um, kind of a, a secret space by, by getting the automat and seeing that there was a space above him that he might not have, uh, might not have realized before. Nice. Nice, and and we did see just there uh, Olivia Pierce, who actually is uh, going to be a central figure uh, in the story. We, we probably don't want to dive too deep, yeah. because clearly we want people to discover that when a game releases. Um, but uh, I, I would say for you know Doom multi, for, I mean for Doom single player people, sorry, we love the multiplayer so much. Uh, <laughs> for Doom uh, single player guys, you know it's a little bit of a change of pace, right? Because Doom had traditionally told stories through you know just like segments of. Line of lines and senses, like oh, this situation's happening here, and so on and so yeah. forth. Really simplistic stuff. But you guys are bringing in, uh, you know, an antagonist uh, into this to really help drive the narrative for, you know, why our character is doing what they're doing, what they're doing. Here. Yeah, for sure. We we don't, you know, we don't put story front and center at, at all. Doom's about doing this. I mean, it's about you know fighting demons and and using awesome guns. Uh, so it, it's it hasn't been a huge huge focus necessarily, but. You know, as I, as I mentioned, you, you, we, we've tried to infuse a lot of mystery and, a, and, a, and a, you know, a, a story that can that will keep you kind of playing and, and, and digging if you want it. Uh, it's, it's uh, you know, we, we, we tend to, we, we kind of say like we, we keep it pushed, you know, pushed out of the way a little bit and, yeah. uh, and have, you, have you diving in to, to, to try and figure it out. Here's another example, you know, he, he kind of is seeing that, uh, that there was a, a suit of armor up there that he missed. Um, you know, again, players players can choose to pull that up whenever they want. If they're if you're a, if you're really into the exploration uh, aspect of the game, um, and and you want to find all the all the secrets, and you want 100 percent, might be something up there. But uh, so is, is that bit there when he brings up the map um, visible uh, always, or is it just like, hey, here's this part that you may have missed, and then the map kind of. Uh, alludes to a hint, or there are even more secret portions that I probably will miss, and, and the map won't tell me. Yeah, there's, there's uh, absolutely, there's, there's. In, in fact, the map doesn't specifically tell you where there's, where there's secrets, and and because he found the uh, the auto map station, it's revealing the the whole map. Uh, if he wouldn't have found that, uh, it, just just that piece, it would only be revealing where he's where he's going. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, and, and then the auto map stations are they like actually hidden within the map or yeah either? there's there's one in one in each map uh, usually kind of towards the towards the beginning so you can try and find it uh, or if you're you know if you're just more into like running and gunning uh, you know you can, Doing the business. you can you can skip them exactly you can see here actually we, we've talked about the the glory kill system a, a little bit but uh, what's one of the one of the nice things about it is it's it's really contextual so you can see. Basically, wherever he's looking on the on the character, oh, he's man. getting these these really fluid kills, and and um, and again, it's it's uh, it's completely optional to glory kill enemies, um, and and as you get further into the game, um, you know, it becomes kind of strategic. Like you could have uh, you know you could have a few guys staggered, 
uh, and decide, man, this is a perfect opportunity to take them out with a, with a bigger gun, use a yeah. rocket launcher or a Gauss. Um, uh, in, in this case, you know, these are all pretty, pretty early enemies. This is, this is very early in the game, so you're mostly fighting imps and zombies. Um, and he, the codex here. Tell yeah, me about he, this. Yeah, this is, this is actually one of the, the ways that uh, the players can, can dive in and, and figure out, uh, you know, kind of figure out the, the lore of the game. Um, uh, again, we, 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 don't, we don't really do cut scenes and, and, you know, big cinematic moments. It's just not what we feel like it, Doom is all about. Uh, but we did want to want to provide a really nice foundation uh, for players to to be able to to understand what was going on with the UAC, uh, a little bit about who you are, and about you know, and, and quite a bit about what was going on there, um, and and actually give quite a bit of lore on on the different uh, the different characters or the different monsters, the the demons. Um, you know, it's it's a pretty rich universe that that hasn't um, you know we've never been particularly explicit about some of these things. So, uh, you know, we, I mean, we talk about how, how revenants are formed and, and uh, there's, a, there's a whole kind of fiction behind that. Uh, but again, it's, it's there if you want it, um, if you just want to, you know, kind of play very naturally and just power through, um, you, you get that. Yeah, well, if, you know, if I recall correctly, one of the trailers, um, I'm trying to remember which trailer it was, but actually showed the construction of a cyber demon, if I was correct, all right? And I, I mean, that, I find that to be really interesting, too, because, you know, Doom is a pretty uh, gruesome game, so there's always, like, those instances. Like, I think one of the most uh, prominent scenes in a video game for me, uh, which is so weird, is, like, th dating back to the 360, which I can't believe I said dating back, but that's the world we live in now, <laughs> um, where I, I think it was a uh, Quake 4, I want to say, when, like, you're going through the, the, the I guess, construction process sure. of, of, like, your legs being, yeah, like, the ripped up. Yeah, Yeah, and I was just like, oh, my God, this is crazy, you know? And, and, I, and I actually think that that is... A, Pretty cool element that you guys are bringing into Doom. You're really uh, trying to highlight the, the gruesomeness, while at the same time not really uh, trying to throw like you know crazy amounts of story in your face. And 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 I also appreciate that it's not uh, shock value, right? It's more like I have giant guns. I'm gonna beat the crap out of all the demons and yeah. monsters and everything that is around me. Yeah, de definitely. Speaking of beating the crap out of monsters, oh, yes. here comes a chainsaw. This is, this <clears throat> is, this Hugo, is really cool. have fun. And Hugo's I kind will. of actually been, if you're if you're paying attention at home, he's kind of revealing a, a couple secrets. We're not gonna we're not gonna ruin all the secrets, but uh, but it does it does give you an example of if you look around and you try to Do what you try want. to find um, try to find some of the secrets. Um, uh, he, this is actually a, I, I was gonna actually have him turn this off, but uh, he was gonna turn off tutorials here. But you get a sense of of all this type of things that you can you can configure through the game. Um, you know, you can you can change. You know, show, oh, you can, show you your HUD. You can turn you can turn off the entire. Turn off HUD. the glory kill highlight. Turn off the glory to. kill highlighting. Yeah, you can play it almost like a stripped down version where there's just there's just you, your gun, and the demons. I saw crosshair styles there. Too. Yeah, yeah, you can you can change to a simple crosshair. Okay. Um, something something we actually pulled uh, pulled across. It's kind of fun to, to to do is field of view. Not a lot Thank of console you. games. Thank you. Do, do field of view. <laughs> if you if you want the game to even feel just a little bit faster, just crank that up a little bit to 100. I played 110. So. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. Yeah, and, on the multiplayer. Was, yeah, and yeah. I and I loved it. Like a lot of my viewers on my stream were telling me. Dude, just go full 100 hand. Thank me later. And oh my goodness, look at that! <laughs> that is just that is just amazing. The uh, you, you know you it, you just mentioned just not not all gratuitous. The chainsaw even has a, a, a really specific purpose in the game. And, and as you get deeper in, uh, and and you're fighting more um, you know heavier enemies, harder to kill enemies, um, it's uh, it it actually serves as a means to. Um, when you when you chainsaw a guy, it gives you a massive dump of ammunition, um, almost enough to, to refill all your guns. Really? Uh, yeah. If you notice down there in the bottom right hand corner, those two little uh, uh, kind of markers, um, that's your chainsaw ammo, and you find ammo throughout the world. Um, and different enemies, these enemies take only one, oh. uh, you know, one fuel cell, um, but uh, some of the heavier guys will take all of your fuel or three of your fuel. Um, so you're kind of as you, as you get deeper, there's guys that if you get low on on health or you get low on ammo. Um, you can kind of make the choice of like I want I want a really big dump of ammo when I when I chainsaw this guy, or I want the one hit kill, and, and you kind of spend your ammo uh, accordingly. Um, so uh, so here's a this is this is kind of a you know we we, we, we love the classic elements kind of doing them in a new way. Um, this is a uh, a yellow security station. Um, this guy was able to pass through. I can I can see so uh, um, you know these are. This is we do a lot of our storytelling and and, um, and kind of hints and clues through the world uh, in a in a very um, just environmental way. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't doesn't stop you down. You, you, uh, you know he elected to go up there and, and touch that. So 
uh, and, and it gave him a clue like that guy can get through there. So now he's kind of on a on a quest to find to find that guy. Um, and, and as you can see here too, that like we're we're kind of touching. He's looked into some areas that he can't quite get into yet, um, uh, and and uh, and showing some branching paths. So yeah. uh, lots of different ways to approach uh, getting through the space and and uh, and kind of making your way through the game. Oh, I like that pistol. It's nice, a little couple one-shot kills there. Yeah. What's the alternate fire for that? Uh, to charge up. To charge up? Yeah, you can see right there. Ah, okay, okay, that's nice. And, and actually, since we are talking about the weapons here, um, you guys made some changes to how the weapons are done, modifications and all that stuff too? Yeah, we'll, we'll get into, like this again, this is pretty early in the game, so uh, we try to, you know, we try to ramp the player up. There's a lot of, there's a lot of kind of mechanics and, and ideas that, uh, this, this actually being one of them right here, uh, that are that are a little bit different than other games. You'll notice as, as he comes into this space, we've talked about, um, you know, we've talked about the way our combat spaces feel uh, kind of abstract, almost like uh, 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 arenas, like skate parks, we, we tend yeah. to call them. That was, uh, I love those, those that was a good one. kills from above. Way to go, you go. Yeah. That's um, actually one of my favorites. I like the, the sweep. Yeah. But if you look at this space, it's 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 set up for combat. You know, I mean that that we, we build these spaces for for very fun combat, uh, and then you know visually, you know make them make some sense. But uh, but really they're they're built for combat. Um, so you'll see how he kind of moves through this world. This is a gore nest. Um, these things are, are present. They kind of create these lockdown areas that when you when you take them out, it summons uh, it summons demons to kind of protect the, the space and, and do a bit of a last stand. So you always kind of see those and you. You, you rub your hands together, going, "This is this is going to be a good fight." <laughs> Again, this is pretty early in the game, so uh, a lot of a lot of enemies that uh, uh, you know, kind of on the on the smaller side, um, but uh, but very acrobatic. That's, that's one of my favorite glory kills. Oh, dude, look at you! It's almost like you've done this before, Hugo. <laughs> this is uh, this actually looks pretty cool here, and, and and yeah, this this section is pretty gruesome. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh no way! <laughs> Blew himself up. You had one job. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> you had one job. He'll, he'll get back to it. This, this arena is really, really fun. It's, it's, yeah. uh, at this point in the game, you've actually played through uh, a few arenas. Um, there's some, there's, as you kind of have crossed the Martian surface at the very beginning in the, in the, in the first uh, mission, um, we, we kind of ramp you up. Again, there's, it's, it, it plays really different than a lot of modern shooters. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we've said you know, kind of throughout the campaign, uh, that if you if you stop, you're dead. I mean, it's it's all about movement. Well, and I got and I got caught in a corner there. That's when I died. Yeah, I caught in a corner. It was a grenade to your feet. Pretty much, you set yourself up for failure. Which actually reminds me <laughs> that I should probably at least give myself. I have one point. So okay. uh, so what are we seeing here? Yeah, right here. This is um uh this is our kind of uh, Praetor suit upgrade. So uh, the the suit that you wear is called the Praetor suit. We talk a little bit about that in the lore, but. Um, but what he's kind of diving through here, why don't you bring those back up real quick so, so we can explain them. Um, this, is, uh, this is where you upgrade. As you can see, right now he only has the pistol and the, and the shotgun. Um, and, uh, and he's already received uh, two modifications to the shotgun. So the, each gun has kind of a base Ooh. capability that you, that you use with the right trigger. And then uh, as you explore the world, you find these supply drones. Yeah. They scan your arsenal and give you options uh, to, to, uh, to attach a mod to this. So, uh, for the shotgun, he's already found the charge burst mod and the explosive shot mod, um, and uh, and then there's upgrades that you can earn through these uh, upgrade points uh, that you earn all different ways: combat, exploration, uh, and that kind of stuff. Um, and what's nice about these is is you actually don't have to follow the strict progression. You can like if you jump down, he could he could choose any of those open slots, okay. um, uh, and then and then once you've unlocked those three, you then get uh, the a challenge that'll allow you to master the gun. Um, and, it, and it really creates this, um, this nice progression. Now, Doom has always been about, well, and then I'll, I'll explain this so you can get back to gameplay. Um, so his Praetor suit um, has these different categories of upgrades. You get these, these points um, through finding, um, through a lot of exploration, you, you find um, these elite guards that have this chip in them and you get to spend that on your own suit. Um, so here he's gonna upgrade his dexterity or his environmental resistance, area scanning, um, equipment systems. Uh, and and allows you to to, to kind of hone, hone the gameplay to, to your specific preferences. Yeah, and um, I notice he basically had one slot on on three categories there. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and and that, that's a that that follows a, a, a path. So you know you kind of spend it however you want. If you want to, if you really are, are, are the kind of player that loves to find secrets, there's uh, there's upgrades that allow you to, to do that more easily. 
Um, if you love the equipment system, um, you can continue to upgrade that. Um, if you want a faster experience, your dexterity stuff is really, really fun to make uh, glory kills faster as you play through the game. Um, and, you know, D Doom has always kind of been this, uh, this escalation of, of guns and demons. So you just, you kind of take one step on the ladder and then the demons take one step up and yeah. then you take one step up. And uh, so we've done that through the, the collection of guns, but also the, the finding of mods um, and, and then the, the, the progression through, through upgrades. Yeah, and I'm noticing that too, right? He, he went after the, uh, you know, that particular, the, with the gore segment. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the monsters that are popping out, uh, you know, aren't your, you know, big monsters at this point in time, right? It, it, I could see that ramp up potentially happening. It makes me even more excited yeah. for what the, uh, what the future levels are going to look like. Because oh, yeah. I can only imagine how ridiculous it gets. And, and uh, something I, of course, don't, oh, nice. Look at that right there. Let's hit him with it. Uh, so uh, something I did want to know is about maybe potential the big ammo dump. Uh, yeah. new demons and new monsters. Is that like something we could see, or are you guys sticking to the core uh, and what people love and, and, and the and the monsters that have been around? A, a lot of the core, but but we do have we do have some surprises in there that I think people will enjoy. Ooh, um, we're, right. we're trying we're not we're trying not to give too much away. No, it's perfectly um, fine. But, uh, right, but, but yeah, we, we've uh, we've we've got some uh, yeah some 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 fun stuff in there. Nice. Um, uh, but you know, I mean, it, it kind of go, going back, we, we uh, to, to your to, to an earlier question about it, you know, just being Doom. We, we really did want to, um, we, we did want to start, uh, and, and we really do look at this as a foundation we can build on in the future. We really hope to build on. Um, we did want to start with the things that people love and we love, you know, so like pinky demons and caca demons, um, uh, hell knights, barons. So you'll see a lot of that stuff in in here. Um, this is a, again just a another little clue of. Following the following the guy you're looking for. Yeah, that's um, my that's my yellow key card basically. That's your like that's your yellow key card. Yeah, kind of a new take on on yellow key card. Okay, okay, that's cool. So now, speaking about uh, the missions too, <clears throat> um, you know, of course, uh, the community has a very deep appreciation for all the you know various missions, and you know, like they play them over and over again and find new ways on how to you know improve on their whether it be their strategy, their approach, or just enjoying the design of the levels, because uh, if that's actually the one thing that I've noticed a lot about the Doom community, because I've been reading a lot of the Doom subreddit, uh, various Doom community sites, and um, what I thought was uh, pretty cool was really seeing the appreciation that these guys have for uh, game design and yeah. the approach. And I think you you touched on that a little bit, saying like, you know, this area here is built for combat, right? And like. You know, and, and you layered it, and, and of course, I'm fully expecting the community, when the game comes out, to deep dive and break down every single detail. Um, so with that said, speaking of like what people can expect, when they play uh, the missions and, and whatnot, how long can they expect each mission to be? Is it just catered to how long you want to take? Like, if I run through everything like a crazy person, uh, like how long would I, like the average time from start to finish for each mission? You know, I, I, it, it really depends on how you play and, and how much time you spend. Uh, I, you know, most of our, most of our play tests, we, we do focus tests at the, at the studio. Most of our focus tests for new players who kind of their, their first run through uh, of the game, if they're looking for a moderate number of secrets and trying to, you know, trying to upgrade their guns and that kind of thing. Um, it's it's in the 13 to 15 hour range to get through on on a on a normal wow. difficulty setting. Okay. Yeah. So so. And then know, that probably scales up as you. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you if you go to ultra violence, you go to ultra violence you, it really changes the way you play and and, and your strategy. Um, and uh, uh, but then you know you can you can you can you can move through it uh, if you play on an easy skill level and just kind of like blow through it. Yeah. You can get through it, uh, you know, quite a bit faster. We'll do speed runs that. Uh, <clears throat> Um, they, they kind of go a little bit further. We're going to actually jump ahead now. Jump um, ahead. Yep, in the in the game. So uh, so he just picked up the uh, the heavy assault rifle there, um, and we'll we'll show that kind of in a later level. You mentioned seeing some more of the big demons, so that's that's, re that's oh, yeah. really what's what's uh, I'm excited. What's a ton of fun. Awesome um, stuff, man. Yeah. Well, just to update everyone, if you're just joining us here, this is the campaign reveal for Doom. Of course, this game is awesome. Looks like it's going to be a good time. Joined by uh, Marty and Hugo here uh, from id Software. We're going to be talk. We're of course talking about Doom and all the good stuff. Now, a pro tip for anyone who may be uh, new to Doom, and I'm going to I'm going to be very honest here because I I uh, appreciate Doom. I played it many years ago. Um, my background has always stemmed from console FPS games. <coughs> uh, you know, 
such as like Halo or GoldenEye or Perfect Dark and you know sure. those kinds of games. Uh, and I didn't actually grow up because I didn't I couldn't afford a PC that could play a lot of these games back in the day. So I came to appreciate Doom much later into its life cycle. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, I'm seeing this, and I, I'm so stoked for this game. And, and one thing I'm going to tell people who are watching, if you plan to play Doom on the easy mode, <laughs> what, why? Why are you doing that? I why like you know you got to play it in the hardest difficulty setting possible. I'm probably going to do that, and and you may not get past the first stage, but it's yeah. okay. It's, we don't we don't we don't judge. Yeah, we, we actually so so di difficulty levels is something that uh, that we actually really important to us. Yes. Obviously, you know it's and and you know we want we want people to be able to to get through it, particularly new players. If if you're coming to it, I, I wouldn't say, you know, don't, don't let it frustrate you. If, you, if you're going to get frustrated, back it down because it's just fun to play the game. But no it mercy. Is, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, we, uh, we, 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 <clears throat> we have put a lot, of, a lot of work into the difficulty settings. Uh, he's, Hugo's playing on um, Hurt Me Plenty. On, on Hurt Me Plenty. Um, and then the step above that is ultraviolence, and then there's nightmare on top of that. And Ooh. nightmare is nightmare is a really really big challenge. Um, uh, and then we, we actually have a, uh, a a really fun mode, which is uh, and it's it's really hard, which is um, uh, ultra nightmare, um, and and goes uh, it basically takes nightmare and forces you to play it without dying. So okay. if you die, you start at the Wait, beginning of the, so there's of a, the game. So above nightmare. There's Ultra Nightmare. Oh, Jesus. That's insane. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, I mean nightmares, you yeah. know, kind of suck. Not, nightmare but. is hard. Nightmare is hard. <laughs> but you know what? It's, it's interesting because it, uh, it actually changes the way you, um, uh, it, it changes the way you think about uh, the Jumps combat the because you're, you're really, you're, 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 you're always moving. You're always keeping that, that stuff uh, ahead of you yeah. and, um, and, uh, uh, and, and really paying attention to, to what's going on in, in some of the early some of the easier difficulties you know you can take a hit or two but in nightmare you, you've really really got to be on the move all right so now tell me about this section here yeah so this this is the Lazarus facility um, and uh, this is this is uh, a little bit more than halfway into the game okay, um, okay. and and at this point you've got you can kind of see architecturally and, and visually it's it's quite a different uh, Quite a different experience. Um, uh, this place is pretty overrun. This is this is really the cult of the UAC. I mentioned that we've we've tried to really infuse the UAC with a bit more. I think when we were talking earlier, I said you know, we've tried to infuse the UAC with a lot more. Um, I almost don't want to talk over because people can hear. Um, but in infuse the UAC with a lot more, just kind of weird. You know, just yeah. we've made them very weird, um, and because they are weird. I mean, they, they they experiment on demons. It's definitely like. Uh, Kind of self-aware too. It's it's tongue in cheek. It's, it's meant to be fun. Yeah. Okay. Like, like this line right here. It's like not words you'd expect to hear in a business facility. Yeah. You report <laughs> yeah. to the chapel immediately. Please save your work uh, before you. You know. It's like. Yeah. What are they doing here? Yeah. Um, well, I, and I think that's actually. Uh, I think that's actually pretty cool. You know. Again, <clears throat> when you think about the other dooms, right? Um, Doom One and Doom Two, uh, definitely, you know, it had its had its layer of story, but it wasn't one of those things that was like beating you over the head with yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Um, but then, Th this is actually what the game is all about, right here. Yeah, it's, like it, it's about the weapons, awesome about guns, the yeah, and, and how you're going to use them, and and kind of getting a sneak peek here of of uh, of all of the types of uh, upgrades. That, again, at this point in the game, you, you've got you've got a lot of the guns, you've got most of the mods. If you've if you found the uh, the mod drones that, that do the delivery. Yeah, um, so many points right now. Yeah, he's he's got a lot of points, so he's just kind of this is we're 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 uh, doing what we call dev load into so so that we can jump ahead. Um, so we just jumped ahead in, into the game. So he's we kind of set him up. So we've got a lot of points, kind of a rough approximation of what you would have in the game. Um, here he's going to upgrade, you know, upgrade his suit a little bit more to kind of be more in line with uh, mm -hmm. uh, with with this challenge. It's funny actually when you're when you're playing like this sometimes at the office. Somebody will try to play a later level uh, without actually upgrading, um, and uh, and they'll have a lot of you know they'll have a hard time, and they'll be like, man, this is too hard. Um, and like, did you did you did you do your upgrades? Um, I wonder who is going to be the person that plays Ultra Nightmare, no upgrades. That 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 would be how hard. How hard would that be? So like, we we have we have scale um, of one to impossible. Yeah, we have a couple <laughs> people at the office that have gotten about. 
a little over a halfway through um, without dying. But no, nobody internally has made it all the way through Ultra Nightmare without dying. So wow. um, we, we have a way to test it so that we know that it works. Um, but as far as purely playing it exactly how, it's, uh, how, how somebody might do it in the wild, um, nobody's done it yet. So it's really, it's, it's going to be one of those things that when it comes out, it's going to be fun to see, uh, see somebody do it. And, and it, it, it's, it's interesting because it's one of those things like, you think, man, somebody would be really frustrated if they get all the way through the game and they die you know, towards the end. Uh, one, one of, it was, we had a contest uh, a couple weeks ago of, of people trying to get through it. Um, and one guy got uh, about halfway through, he died at he died um, and uh, kind of put the controller down and he's like, man, I love this game. And you know, that's the kind of, that, that's just the, the fun we feel Ooh. internally. Yeah, the pinky, he's, uh, he's such a cool enemy. This is so cool. Hugo, Hugo just exposed his weak spot right there. It's, he's, he's fun because if you, um, he's really tough if you try to take him on from the, from the front. Um, but uh, but uh, if, you, um, if you shoot him in the tail, he's, he's much, much weaker from the tail. So you can use... Um, so you can use uh, different uh, different guns and different combinations of guns to kind of exploit that weakness in him. That makes sense. So, Hugo, you've been playing this quite a bit. Yes. I kind of want to get your your thoughts. Uh, who's like probably one of your like favorite demons to face off against? Probably the Pinky, because of what Marty said. Like we, we work hard to make sure that the uh, the enemies really make you think. Uh -huh. Even though it's like a full on action game, you know, it's all about killing demons. There's definitely definitely like a lot of strategy that goes on while you're fighting, and uh, the pinky really introduces that because he's armored from the front, weaker from behind. You kind of have to game him to get him to uh, charge you, so you can spin around to his backside and uh, hit him where he's not armored. There are different mods and stuff that you can do to do, uh, use to do that. So it's uh, sorry, trying to concentrate. It it makes it pretty fun. You do what you have to do. Okay, <laughs> you slay these demons. You, you so, destroy so these monsters. So right now, actually, I have something set up where I can get a, I have my runes set up, which is another part of the progression in the game, where basically I've equipped myself for speed. So you unlock these do, doing challenges in the game. Uh, this one is vacuum, so I can actually suck up some of the resources in the world without actually having to walk over to it. Okay, this one is cool. a savagery. I can perform glory kills faster. And this one is blood fueled. Uh, I get a speed boost once I perform a glory kill. Yeah, so that, that one's really fun. If you if you're if you love the speed of the game and want yeah. even you know you've, you've gotten used to it and you can control oh, it really well, it. you uh, yeah, he he's my favorite enemy in the game. I've uh, I have a running joke with my with my stream. I call him the Scottish Demon whenever I get him. <laughs> it's uh, one of my friends who's uh, who's British, but. I say he's Scottish just to mess with him, and uh, <laughs> whenever I get the Revenant in the multiplayer, I was like, the Scottish demon, <laughs> and I just ran around with this like really, really bad accent yeah. the entire time. I don't know, it's just kind of fun to like lose yourself in the game and, and, and just have a good time with it. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm actually seeing exactly what you're talking about when you mentioned how you, you built the levels for, uh, you know, or these particular areas for combat, right? Yeah. I, I saw it right away, you know? Because even I'm looking at it, and as a gamer and someone who is going to play this game a lot, I looked at it and I'm like, oh man, I could probably go here, here, I could use this weapon here, you know, and, and really just have fun with it. Because for me, I'd probably bust out a rocket launcher and just go to town it's, on a lot of these people. Yeah, it's actually, I mean, he can, it's, he, you can show that. This this area is really, really fun. There's the, the heavy assault rifle. He's got actually the, the scoped mod on it, on it there. Um, this is the rocket launcher. This is similar to in multiplayer. You can uh, uh, you, you can uh, you can remote detonate it. And in an arena like this, it's really fun to use that because you can explode it in the air. Um, like you get you get guys that oh, are up on my, those higher that's my perches. my baby right there. Yeah. I love the pulse rifle. Oh yeah, so this good. is yeah, the plasma. It's awesome. Um, yeah. And uh, and it has some cool. Like there, he used the stun the stun mod to, to, to stun that revenant and then uh, and then take him out with a second with a second shot. Oh um, my god. What one of the is that? Uh, people saw this at E3, but why don't you show real quick the the weapon wheel? Because um, it's it's a it's a fundamental part of, of actually switching weapons fast. Chain gun. Um, yes. Yeah, this is uh, this is really cool. What chain is gun. This that? Is, is that a, that's the base. Man. That's the base chain gun. But what is he fighting? I, I can't oh, see. Oh, I here. think that was a hell knight. Oh, it was a hell. Okay. Yeah. Can't see too well from here. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, he's just picked up haste. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> and it's it's cool to it's cool to enter an arena. I mean, it's kind of like a, a, a bit of a pro tip. Uh, you know, you, you walk into an arena and you see it's very Doom. Also, you walk into an arena and you see a power up uh, in the world, and you're like, I wonder when I should use that. Like, yeah. you know, you, you see a haste or a quad damage or 
or um, you know, or something like that. And and you, and you really have to kind of have this moment of of thought of like, uh, um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until I, I just absolutely need that. Um, and and then even on replays, uh, you 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 know, you kind of choose different times to do it. And you know, the the difficulty setting, the way the arenas are constructed, the improvisational nature of the combat, that all it's it's all it all makes it very. Um, we say this all the time. The game's really replayable. Um, it's it's really fun to uh, to go back to arenas and 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 play them. Over Especially and with over. the different settings, right? Absolutely. And, and even with the different Pump approaches up the difficulty. you difficulty. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. We even have. I mean, as we've prepared for demonstrations like E3 and that kind of thing, we have almost like competitions internally to see who can who can make it look the best. Who can who can do it? So I think you know. I mean, we're here at Twitch, but I think people will really dig the the ability to do playthroughs and runs um, on on missions over and over and just show it in a totally different light and with yeah. different upgrades and different rune abilities. Well, I think what's really going to be exciting in particular for people who stream Doom on Twitch is, uh, you know, one thing that people love to see is failure. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> they love failure. Yes. Okay? Uh, I think games like Dark Souls are a testament to that. People yep. love watching that. They love watching people fail and, and get frustrated and do all that stuff. Uh, I watch a lot of those streams where they have death counters at the top of like how many times they've tried to do this thing. And I think that that is something that people are actually really going to gravitate to here, right? Yeah. You know, like how, how I... Uh, you know, how many times I, I fail, how many times I succeed, you know, uh, how I do so, and, and the sick things that happen mid-game, because there's always going to be these crazy moments. Yep. So, uh, something I did want to touch on here is, uh, of course, um, Doom, you guys brought back a lot of mechanics that were very familiar to Doom, such as no reloading, mm -hmm. uh, which I just want to point out, first day playing the multiplayer uh, beta. And I, again, had never really touched Doom that much. I, I wasn't, you know, too familiar with it. And I was playing and I'm like, where do I reload? I'm just so used to reloading. <laughs> yeah. And then I was just like, oh, you, you, you don't. You don't in Doom. Um, but then you guys also added, you know, th things that weren't in the original Doom, such as, you know, jumping, right? Yeah. Which is uh, something that you really couldn't do in that. It'd be hard to not game. have a game nowadays without, without jumping. Without jumping, yeah. yeah. But I, I think that that is, uh, that is quite interesting because a lot of... I mean, to be realistic, you know, these days, a lot of people are kind of releasing games with very similar mechanics, uh, whether that be aim down sights, whether that would be sprinting, um, you know, a variety of different tools, you know, we're seeing so many, we're seeing movement really play a role in a lot of different uh, things now. What was, I guess, the challenge for you guys there? Because essentially, you're, you're, you have to make a game that is classic Doom, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you have to make a game that speaks to the community, while also making a game that speaks to a new audience, um, and and do you feel like you, you hit that uh, you hit that balance there? I, I feel like we did. I mean, it, it's uh, it, it is a challenge. I mean, it, we we we've spent you know years in development on, on this. This is this is actually I'll, I'll answer that question, but uh, this is actually one of the rune trials. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but just to just to show it here. Um, so we talked about those. Um, we talked about the runes that you can earn. You do these through these trials, um, and they they basically take you to a different. Uh, Kind of like a little um, little challenge level. Oh, that's sick! So you um, just got to destroy everything in a minute and thirty seconds. For, Fourteen. For it's this different one. every time. Yeah, it's different every single time, and, and each one gives you a, a different a different rune trial. There's twelve of them um, throughout the game, and um, it, you know that one is destroy everything within a certain amount of time. Um, there's ones where it's more about movement and getting through uh, you know through the world in a certain amount of time, um, and and then again those those unlock these these are upgraded or mastered through uh, through challenges, so you can see their vacuum. You can upgrade. It's actually already upgraded, um, but but some of the other ones, uh, you know, you you, um, you 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 have to kind of continue to to do to use that. Um, the nice thing, actually, if you go back to runes real quick, it's 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 uh, uh, when you when you when you get your first rune, you get it. Uh, you get these slots, and so you get your first slot. Um, but then um, as you uh, as you continue to play, when you've when you found and been awarded four runes, it opens up a second slot. And then once you've done seven, it opens up a third slot. And these are all stacking capabilities. So um, you get this really awesome ability to tune the gameplay to exactly how you want, just based on stacking these rooms, these rooms together in, in different combinations. And you can adjust these at any point during the gameplay. I mean, he just run, he just jumps in here and does this. So you know, you get into a boss fight, and you may adjust uh, your runes. Like you know, you maybe don't want something that plays so much into into glory kills. You want something that you know, gives you uh, 
you know, gives you um, infinite ammo when your health or when your armor is above a certain, which is which is another one of them. So, place, you know, before you go too far here, um, that that takes place partway through, and again, it's that that's really where you start to explore how how deep the cult goes. Um, okay. Uh, and we keep calling it a cult. It is they, they do some weird stuff. Um, <laughs> Uh, real, real it's, it's, it's where it's kind of the facility that Olivia, who you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. um, is the head of, and uh, and and so you're just you, breezing through these upgrades right now. Yeah, this is just this is just to get him I love to it. get him set up. Um, I've done this you, a you, couple times. Yeah, yeah I ha I'm you, almost you, certain you have. <laughs> you, you normally wouldn't uh, you normally wouldn't get to do this. This is kind of as a developer, it's fun to just oh, my God, I got 75 points. I get to spend them however I want. Yeah. Um, well, I can even imagine though people as they, I mean, they're gonna deep dive into this game for a very long time. Yeah. And I can just imagine them just twiddling through all the menus and just flying through everything. Yep. Uh, and getting what they want with this, which, which of course is, it's always awesome. Uh, you know, as people deep dive into yeah. games. Yeah. And, and I think people will enjoy. Like, I think speedrunners will have a good time because. When I watch guys at the office that, that are doing kind of the speed runs, they know exactly which room they want, which upgrade they want as as they go through. So it is that thing. I get an upgrade point, and I'm and I'm banging through to 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 kind of hit it. Um, it, it, it I think it's going to be a game that that people really like to like to stream and and uh, and, and create create videos of. Um, we have we have moments all the time in the office that just is like. You know, I wish that was being recorded right yeah. now. So yeah. I think I think people will do do that a lot. Well, now uh, is a now might be. Yeah, right? yeah, like absolutely. It's, it's coming out. It's it's so close. May thirteenth. That's right. right. May thirteenth, uh, yeah, which a is away. Uh, I guess both exciting and scary at the same time. Right. Yeah, it's mostly exciting. I mean, <laughs> we're, you know, any any time you scary in a good way. Scary in a good way. It's it's uh, we both have kids, and it's it's kind of like they're not quite college age yet. Mine aren't. Mine are closer. Um, but it is kind of like you know sending sending a kid out there into the world. Now this looks like downtown San Francisco, uh, <laughs> exactly, right here. Yeah. Um, this uh, you know, and I think that that is for anyone who's visited this. The only thing that's missing is like a homeless dude in the corner. Um, but this <laughs> there, there is about one, right? it, right? Uh, Bart Station to the left. We're good there. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much where the hell spawn uh, horn is located. Um, so. Yeah. This what is, is going on here? This is Titan's realm. So this is uh, this is. Hell's kind of broken up into these fractures, um, and this is a kind of what we call a fracture of hell. Um, that uh, uh, that is um, actually you actually get a little bit of lore. These are what we call uh, Slayer testaments. Um, these are kind of some of the some of the way that you get. Uh, again, you just touch it, you can listen. You don't have to listen, whatever. We don't want to um, say what it's about. Though. Yeah, we don't want to say what it's about. <laughs> but uh, but you 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 start to understand even even more lore about hell um, in, the, in the player and and yeah. Because you, you you've I mean Doom One, Doom Two. You've gone there, you know, you went there, you did that. Yeah. You know, you, you went back again, you did it again. Yeah. Um, but it was always just like, you know, you're, you're shooting demons in hell. That yeah, was always exactly. like and the that's, premise. That, and that's what you'll see here. I mean, just it's a lot of shooting demons in hell. It's kind of taking the fight to their home turf. Now, this is a cool moment. I remember you guys showed me this yesterday. <coughs> yeah. And, and this, and to me, this is, this screams doom. Yeah. How often in a game do you get to jump down a demon's, and uh, then like a corpse to the demon's throat? Land in a pool of blood. Yes. <laughs> and then... It pretty much just get bombarded as soon as you come out. Yeah, this this whole level is kind of built around uh, uh, the the idea that that it's it's this fracture of hell that you're kind of continuing to go down through, and, and actually you end up on the other side of it. Uh, uh, kind of, it's almost like going through an iceberg of, of hell, um, and and, in, and ending up on the bottom. Um, but this, really weird this, to use ice with hell, you know. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I respect and it. hell freezes over. It. Um, <laughs> but uh, but th this first part is kind of built in the in the um, you know, as you saw there, you kind of went down. It's, it's like a demon, a, a titan demon graveyard. Can glory kill those guys? You yes, can you actually can. if they're if you're up and, and you can get close enough to them or they're low, you, you definitely can. All right, here you go. Your challenge, if you choose to accept it, if you run into another one, go for it. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. I want to see that so bad. That'd be so sick. So here's the, this is a Cyber Mancubus. Uh, there's so much to talk about as, as he plays through it. Yeah, so Cyber Mancubus. The, the Cyber Mancubus, he's, he's kind of a UAC uh, kind of Kind of looks like my first girlfriend. Of, uh, That's what's up. Whoa. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, I, had a, I had a rough high school. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he, had, he had pulled up the, uh, the, the chain gun with a modification. It's, it's probably one of my favorite guns in the game with the, with the modification of the mobile turret. Um, where you you basically break it off into three, um, you know, three yeah like that um, three three guns basically kind of all firing the same. That's and, and when we talked about the weapon wheel, uh, you know, again like you get to carry your guns with you all of the time. 
um, and have access to them. And, and as you've gotten, as you get deeper into the game, revealing a little, another little secret here. But as you get deeper into the game, not only do you have those 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 eight guns that are on the wheel, you know but, I, I'm, I'm not gonna reveal it. But each uh, but each mod. <laughs> Um, you can't just go there and then choose not well, to reveal it, Hugo. It's just that that's not how this works. <laughs> you can't just tease the viewer. You know what, though? Like, I'm worried we're revealed too many secrets. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen too much. They have seen too much. All right. Uh, but, but the mods you can access, um, you know, once you have, like, a couple mods for a gun, you can only have one mod on a gun at a time, uh, but you can switch between them really fast. You, you've seen him do that oh. a couple times here um, uh, where he... he uh, He'll switch between two mods really fast, just a quick button press. Um, so between the weapon wheel and having immediate access to all those guns, and each gun having a mod, and then kind of a fast switch to the other mod, you, you, you end up with like 20 different combinations of guns that you can use at any time. This is, this is a, that's a great strategy right there. That's, there's like pro tip, you know, number one. Pro tip uh, with Hugo, number one. Exactly, <laughs> like shoot, shoot, a, shoot a pinky with the stun, um, kind of stun him a little bit, and then swing around him and shoot him in the butt with the uh, super shotgun. It's, it's fantastic. Um, it, while, while you're on this screen, not only the, the, the auto map there you can see, but, uh, you know, we talked about, um, we've talked about the, uh, the upgrades. Uh, you get those through a number of different means. Leave that up for a second. Um, so on the right-hand side there, you can see, leave, leave the challenges up. You can see those challenges. Um, so those are mission challenges. Again, these are totally optional. If you want to get one, uh, you know, one upgrade point per challenge, uh, you can do those. It keeps, keeps track of that and, and informs you. Then there's exploration challenges. Um, so in this level, you can see there's six secrets. Um, that, that you can you can find, um, and if you find half of them, you get one upgrade. If you find another, if you well, find you, all of them, yeah, you, you get the weapon upgrade points. Yeah, those are all those are all weapon upgrade points, um, and then you get up, upgrade points. You can see up in the top right corner, you get uh, upgrade points for just regular combat. So lots of different ways to earn earn upgrades, um, and then uh, you know, and then the mods actually have uh, separate challenges to master them. Um, which makes them even more powerful, almost a, a level of power that is, that is just, it's, it's overwhelming. They, they, they really, really become uh, super, super powerful uh, and, and when, you, when you focus on a gun and, and make it a, a big part of the way you play. Nice. So now you're, I mean, you're basically just in full-fledged demon monster slayer mode. Yeah, and, and at this point. Once, you, once you memorize everything on the weapon wheel, you can kind of quick switch between it. I've been doing a lot of that and uh, make sure that you get the right Sort of tool for the job. It's actually it, it, it kind of comes from the way uh, uh, and, and the weapon wheel works great on the PC, but um, it, it, that that desire comes from playing on the PC. You know, when you when you have when you play a game with all the with all the guns where you're carrying all the guns, it's it, it's way more important to be able to just reach up and hit the number key um, that, that you want. So we kind of wanted to design uh, for the consoles design that uh, that capability where you can get to any weapon really quick without having to cycle through all of them um, and, uh, and the, the weapon wheel kind of puts the game into a slow motion uh, state for, for a little bit and, and and on the PC it's uh, similar yeah absolutely you just pull the weapon wheel up or you can scroll through guns using the uh, you know using the the mouse wheel uh, or you can pull up the weapon wheel scroll to a gun or, or move your mouse to it so it's a it's kind of a, a universal system that that I, that I think just works works great when you're trying to manage kind of that full full load of full load of guns. Oh um, boy! Again, you can see like oh, oh. one of my favorite moments. Oh man! You, you the gotta, gutting you gotta, of the You gotta mancubus. like prep that up. You can't just <laughs> do it. You know you have to like get us prepared for it. Chainsaw Revenant. Dude, dude, Chainsaw Revenant. Oh absolutely! I oh, crushed my. We'll, dreams we'll have to right we'll have to find some gas. Crushing my dreams. You'll find gas in hell. Of course, uh, it goes without saying. Oh man! Oh no! That is so cool. Yeah, you, you end up in, when you get into missions like this, where there's just an overwhelming number of, of, of demons. Um, you you end up using glory kills somewhat strategically, and it, and they actually play into uh, the harder difficulties a little bit because when you when you go into them, <clears throat> when you actually activate it, yeah, you have a moment, just a, a very brief moment of invulnerability. Um, so, uh, so when you're playing on something like Nightmare or Ultra Nightmare, uh, you almost look for those moments where I can go in and glory kill a guy if I'm just, I'm, I'm hanging on the edge uh, of death. And because uh, you know when you, when you actually, when you glory kill, uh, it, it drops a, a greater amount of, uh, of, of health and, and, and uh, ammunition. Yeah. Um, so there's a, there's a benefit to doing it too. And, and again, when, you, when you're playing on a higher difficulty, it's, it's, 
particularly uh, particularly useful. Yeah. You see, he's he's uh, you know Hugo's been using uh, uh, grenades. Um, so and we haven't really talked about equipment. Um, you find throughout the game, you find a few different pieces of equipment. Um, what you've seen there, riding the edge of. Uh, Death there Hugo lives life on the edge. Okay, <laughs> this is what I've discovered with him so far. Throwing grenades on the floor, not prepping up chainsaw kills. There's just a lot of craziness with this guy. <laughs> Go for it. Oh my goodness. That's a great glory kill. That's a good one. I missed him. Yeah, each, each demon, you know, when you fight it, you can kind of see him here lining up and pinky charges and you swing around. It's like being a bull, oh. bullfighter. You just um, smacked him with his back? With his tail. <laughs> with, the, with the tail on his back. That is just, that's disrespectful. <laughs> but I, I, I'll take it. That's cool stuff. That's really cool stuff. And I see the haste there too, just hanging out. In, yeah. You know, you, you pick and choose when you want to use it. All right. So this way you know, like, hey, this is uh, going to be a good opportunity for me to take advantage of this. And, uh, you yeah, know, or, absolutely. Or, oh, and you just jump right through a portal here. So. Yeah. Again, another, another kind of classic thing. You know, it's like uh, we use teleporters throughout the game and portals that, that allow you to kind of zip zip from one space to another. Um, we've incorporated, uh, you know, movement is such a big thing. I, I didn't even talk about it when he was in, in the last, uh, in the in the Lazarus mission, but he um, he has a double jump uh, capability at this point. Um, so you start out with just a, a basic jump and then uh, a few levels in, uh, you discover uh, uh, these, these kind of double jump boost boots. Um, and uh, and then double jump becomes a big part of your of your movement package, and uh, and it's just like so he'll he'll use it you know he uses, he uses it a lot throughout here. That quad down? Yep. Yes, it is. Do and it. it's perfect. It's perfect example. You you, you may want to wait for that. Dude. Really? Yeah, because yeah, I mean, because most of the fights ex escalate. So you kind of you get in, and if you can kind of handle things uh, okay, the, a lot of times you want to you want to hold off a little bit until you. Um, uh, until you know that the fight's gotten a little out of control. Oh, that's just wrong. <laughs> that is just disrespectful. Pinky, Pinky gets no love here. Oh, geez, Louise, that's insane. That's cool though. That's really cool. And that's okay. a great example of you know a guy a guy gets staggered, um, and uh, and then um, you know and then he, he uses like a, a fast kill gun to, to take him out. You don't have to you don't have to glory kill every single time. Um, it's just it's kind of just a, a part of the strategy as you play. Yeah. And and I could go through the whole game probably just not glory killing. You could if you wanted time. to, yeah, yeah. You know, it's uh, once you once you start once you start playing, it's uh, it's it's one thing to, to watch, and then um, and then playing is just uh, again, it's 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 like dancing, you know. You kind of you kind of get out there, and you're like, it just it just feels good to, to be to be moving through these spaces, and, and um, you get into you get into a flow. It's it's it is that that similarity to uh, you know without the reload, the fast movement. You're, you're dodging projectiles. All these all these ideas that, that uh, early in the game we try to we try to introduce kind of slowly. Um, uh, you uh, you know because because they're not they're not they're not common when you play most shooters today. Uh, like you know you, you, you try to hide or you try to let your health yeah. regenerate or, or that kind of stuff. In this you you you, you blast through. You keep moving. Um, dodging projectiles even is just something that uh, that I think. Um, you know, we, we, we start players off fighting fighting imps early because they throw the fireballs, and to, to, to get that feeling of swerving between fireballs, uh, swerving between projectiles, most enemies, their their main attacks are either to, to pressure you or to shoot, um, you know, to shoot a projectile. There's another good example uh, of just kind of oh. dodging and weaving through that stuff. Oh. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Yes. Brought out the big gun. Use it. <laughs> Almost died. <laughs> Yeah, you were close, man. It was close. I'm telling you, you're living your life. Holy in the... shit! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh my goodness, that is so. No quad damage here. You're not committing. You're not committing. Uh, I think a, you should. He's commit. about to. <laughs> think you should commit. I think he's gonna use the BFG on him. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at the way he just crumpled like a cookie. Jeez. Go for it. Oh no way! That is just the worst way to go. So, right but there. that's that's a uh, that, that's a good example right there. Like you fight a baron, and uh, and you know that was a that was a one hit kill of a baron, which is which is pretty with with the chainsaw, which is like that's that's pretty valuable to be able to do that. Um, but uh, you know, but it cost all of his fuel. He had to be completely full on fuel, and it cost all of it. Um, so now he doesn't. He he picked up that ammo, but he doesn't have the capability to use that to kind of. 
continue to get more ammo yeah, from, from lesser enemies. Yeah, because obviously the point is you, you guys didn't want people just running through the game and just sawing the crap out of everything that they see. Absolutely, right? you, absolutely. Yeah, you want to, like, part of, the, yeah, part of the the fun of Doom is, you know, again, the weapons and figuring out what works when and, and, and how to do it. And, and while the chainsaw is great, you don't want people to just use that, yeah. which I, I, I do respect it. Okay, so you guys make it look like, those guys easy. <laughs> so, lost souls are lost souls are fun. So this looks like it's about to get real, really quick. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't know because this is a pretty wide open arena here. Um, yeah. So I'm a little I'm afraid for you, Hugo. <laughs> he, he, he should he himself. should ramp up the difficulty, and that's how yeah. Like, you know, I was we had a big talk at the office as to whether like what difficulty I should play that because I mean I've played the game a million times, so I'm definitely playing it on a slightly easy, uh, definitely an easier setting. For me, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so what you're saying is, you know, the, these demons, you know, they, they can't hold a candle to you know, <laughs> Stone Cold Hugo over here. Um, but actually, the in, I'm sorry to cut you. The, the in-flight mobility thing is is uh, I have it on right now, so it allows me to like basically move in midair. Yeah, it's it's a it's a perfect example of, of like you know the the everything we do we try to make from an upgrade perspective. These aren't like micro upgrades. They're not they're not just little little like oh I can you know, get 5% more damage or something like that. They're, they're really, they're, they're pretty meaningful and they, they really do fundamentally change the way uh, the game feels or the weapon feels. Um, so his in-flight mobility rune that he's using there, if you really like to play and have massive air control, um, it, you can see there like he, he, you know, he jumps and he can almost jump out over a ledge and then pull himself back. This is, this is, these, these are really cool. I, I love these things. This is, um, uh, as, as part of our secret system, we have collectibles. These little, uh, these little Doom Guy uh, collectibles. That when you find it, un it unlocks um, in our model viewer. Uh, you, can access, <laughs> you can access. You can you can access our model viewer and be able to see any of the demons, uh, the guns, um, really up close and 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 see the detail and, and level that's in them. Um, and and you you unlock those through the um, through finding those collectibles in the world. All right, so it seems like you're about to to get. And so, what is this yellow skull here? It's a it's a it's a key. Um, okay. you, you find the yellow skull and unlock the uh, unlock the door. Um, is that is that where you're leaving? I think yeah. that's where I'm gonna leave the player. <laughs>